Topic 1, Lesson 9. Using multiplication facts to find division facts. Well, so far you've learned that multiplication and division are inverse operations, meaning they go back and forth. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use multiplication facts to help you find and solve a division problem. Our standard is we're going to solve multi-step word problems posed with whole numbers and having whole number answers, including the four operations. But in this case, we don't need all four operations. We're just going to look at multiplying and dividing. So here we are. We have our focus. How can the inverse relationship between multiplication and division be used to find the division facts? So let's say Carly reads a book and this book has 32 chapters and she has eight days to read it. She wants to read the same number each day. How would you solve this problem? Well, notice the key things that I underline. We have 32 chapters and we have eight days to read it and we want to do the same number each day. Well, that definitely is a division problem because you start with a large number and you want to split it into um, same into groups, in this case eight groups, and we find want to find the equal number in each group. So we come up with our equation here, 32 divided by 8, and we know that it's 4. But let's say you didn't know. And so how would you solve it if you weren't sure how to solve this problem? Well, you could draw a grid, and you could have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups, and you want 32 total. So you're going to have 32 squares. And you can see how many are in each group. Well, that has 4, that has 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. But if you still need help, obviously you can go backwards. Look at it this way. If you go, if you weren't sure, let's say you had 32 divided by 8 equals what? You can always go the opposite way. And we'll try it this way. We'll go, in other words, 8 times what equals 32. So you're looking at your what, and you want to multiply times that number. What's it going to give you 32? And so we are going to use a multiplication fact to help us figure out a division problem. So if you know your multiplication facts, 8 times 4 equals 32. And so you have multiple ways to help you solve a, multi a division problem. Let's try one on your own. Try 63 divided by 9, and you can use multiplication facts to help you as well as a grid. So turn off the or pause the video and give it a try. All right, how did you do? Did you need to draw a grid or did you use a multiplication fact? So let's try a multiplication fact. We know, if we're looking for the answer here, 63 divided by 9 equals something. Or if you do the inverse, something times 9 equals 63. And again, if you know your multiplication facts, you're going to know that it's 7 times 9 equals 63. But you could always draw a grid as well, and maybe that'll help you. So we could draw, we have go down 9. So we use it over here, we go down 9. Oops, here we go. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we need 63. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can count them up. And if you count all the way through here, there's seven in each group, and you're going to get 63. So you can use a grid to help you, an array basically, or use multiplication facts. Either way, it works. All right. Now try some on your own. Good luck.